Christmas, and welcome to the Christmas Eve service of Christ Presbyterian and Redwoods Presbyterian Churches. It is my hope that tonight's service will transport you to Bethlehem so that you will feel the miraculous connection between Christ's nativity and your own. Much like Anne Weems' poem, What Do I Want for Christmas? What do I want for Christmas? I want to kneel in Bethlehem 
the air thick with alleluias, the angels singing that God is born among us. In the light of the star, I want to see them come, the wise ones and the humble. I want to see them come bearing whatever they treasure to lay at the feet of him who gives his life. What do I want for Christmas? I want to see in that stable the whole world kneeling in thanks for a promised kept new life. For in his nativity, we find ours. Greetings and welcome to this collaborative Christmas Eve service. I'm Stephanie Ryder, the pastor at Redwoods Presbyterian Church in Larkspur, where we now gather to witness the lighting of the Advent candles and the Christ candle by John, Nathan, and Tani Gurton. We light the candles of hope, peace, joy, and love. as signs to the coming light of Christ. We light the Christ candle to symbolize God's promise fulfilled. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace to all on whom his favor rests. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Please join me in the call to worship. For unto us a child is born, a son is given. We come to see the child that has been born. We come to gather in the glow of the stable. We come to sing with angels and wonder with shepherds. Come and worship. Worship the one who is born for us this day. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace. Let us go now to Bethlehem. Let us go to find this peace. I am Eli Larson. And I am Silas Larson. We are from Christ Presbyterian Church. We are reading lesson one of three. I am reading Isaiah 9, 2 through 7. And I am reading Luke 2, 8 through 14. I am reading Isaiah 9, 2-7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you. As with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder, for the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on day of Midian. For all the boots of tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire, for a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it, with justice and with righteousness. From this time onward and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
And now our second reading by Kelly McNaughton. I'm going to start the reading. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went from their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. And I am reading Luke 2, 8 through 14. In that region, the shepherds were living in fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of God shone around them. Then they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing good news of a great joy for all people. To this born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is the Messiah. The Lord, this will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth lying in a manger. And suddenly there was an angel with a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on 
earth, peace among those who, whom he favors. May God bless the reading of his word. Our final scripture reading is by Colton Berger. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him, not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all the people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God who were born, not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as a father's only son, full of grace and truth. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, Thanks be to God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. 
the Word, the creative energy of God, was born this night in Jesus Christ. In Jesus' incarnation, we see God's intention for humanity. As we sing in the carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem, the fourth verse, O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out sin and enter in. Be born in us today. O come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. The good news of Christmas is that God is with us because God is within us. God incarnate within each one of us. Just as the human and divine meet in Jesus Christ, they also meet in us. I invite you now to gaze on these images of Christ's divine and human nativity and celebrate that we too are God incarnate.
Thanks be to God for all the wonderful and unique souls of our churches and our world that reflect the faces of God in our midst. I offer a concluding poem I have entitled God's Love. A baby born tonight sharing its light that others might see. Oh, could it be a world made right? God always in our sight. A baby born tonight, a star so bright that others might know the tender warm glow of the depth and height of God's love among us tonight. Please join me in the closing Christmas Eve prayer. Loving God, on this holy night we gather to stand with shepherds amazed at your glory, to sing with angels rejoicing in your work, to wait with Joseph trusting in your promise, to sit with Mary cradling your love. May the good news of this night inspire us to tell the world of our great joy. For to us is born a savior, the Messiah, the Lord, Glory and praise to you forever. Let us say now together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Set the night wind to the little lamb. Do you see what I see? Way up in the sky, little lamb. Do you see what I see? A star, a star dancing in the night. With a tail as big as a kite With a tail as big as a kite Send the little lamb to the shepherd boy Do you hear what I hear? Ringing through the sky, shepherd boy Silver and gold. Let us 
The Christmas spirit is that hope that tenaciously clings to the hearts of the faithful and announces in the face of any Herod that the world can produce and all the indoors slammed in our faces and all the dark nights of the soul, that with God all things are possible. And even now, unto us, a child is born. Go in peace and joy to celebrate this holy night. Merry Christmas.